We're out in some natural area, not really sure. We're pretty far out. Oh, oh nice. It's all crazy to wait up. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty long journey. You know, Mac, sometimes I wonder what would happen if we had the opposite of global warming, global freezing. We already had that. It was called the Ice Age. Yeah, but what if it happened again? The whole world just freezes over. I think there would be some really cool and really not so cool things about that. Oh well, yeah, like if it put out the electricity, I stopped working. Not so sure if that's a cool or not so cool thing. Speaking of which, what if this week you talked about Rosen and how your opinion is always right despite the fact it happens to be of the 5%? Yeah, because I'm part of the 5% that's actually smart. That could not be more false of a statement. I didn't say educationally, kids just don't know what good music or good movies are these days. Yeah, no, I don't care how old you actually are, you still prove to me every day that you are clearly a kid. I'm gonna act like I'm not offended by that. That's great, cause I'm not going to put up with your pointless, loudly pink today. I love you too. Do you know what rabbit trailing is? Because this script is definitely rabbit trailing. Alright, so today I'm gonna talk about why Frozen isn't as good as everyone keeps saying. What? Garrett? You don't think this is supposed to be- You heard me correctly, this movie is not all that. Don't get me wrong, this movie definitely doesn't suck. It was a decent movie, it was good. But there were certainly things it lacked and things that weren't executed correctly that if they were, would have made the movie great. So let me begin. My first point is that not all the concepts in the movie were fully developed. There were great concepts, but none of them got totally where they needed to be. Let me just give an example. The idea of the blondie being taken in by the anthropomorphic rock family would have been great, but it didn't completely work. He later says in the movie that they took him in, and this is shown within the first 10 minutes of the movie, but it just wasn't completely developed. At the beginning, one of the rocks pops out, sees them, and says, I'm going to keep you. What if he had parents? What if he lived with someone else? What if he didn't want to stick with them? It just felt like a somewhat random line that was just thrown in there just so the rest of the movie would make sense. What's more, I don't feel there was enough character development on the rock characters. I feel like they could have had a lot more screen time than they did. My second point is a bit less important for many, but is nevertheless very important to me. The animation and graphics in this movie were just not at their best. Don't get me wrong, they weren't bad. But after watching previous movies that are only a few years old, like Tangled and Wreck-It Ralph, this movie just feels like it could have been released two to three years before Tangled. You just watch Tangled and you just see the way they move, the way they express their characteristics, the way they just make their feelings know it's just so much better than Frozen. In fact, honestly, Frozen quite a few times sort of felt slightly like a Barbie movie. You never want a Disney movie to remind you of a Barbie movie. No, 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 no. Finally, my last point, the third act of the movie was just forced and rushed to get to the climax. Now, the climax of the movie, honestly, I think is the coolest climax that there has been for a Disney movie in quite a long time. I'm Fortunately, the build-up to it was just a mess. Everything was too rushed to get to the point. Just like how I said with that random line The Rock says to the blondie at the beginning of the movie, I feel like this whole third act was here just so that the climax could happen. The Hans guy suddenly becomes the bad guy, and there's like hardly, if even any, hint that he was the main villain. So then a lot of random crap happens before you know it, and then it's just done. It's just the climax happens, and then you're like, whoa, what just happened? If they were gonna make Hans the main villain, the whole way through, they should have executed that plan a bit better than they did. Overall, the movie just felt like it was sort of on the first draft and they just went with it anyway. Once more, don't get me wrong, I don't hate this movie, but it just didn't live up to the movies before it, even the most recent ones. I personally think Tangled was probably the best movie I've seen from Disney in the past 10 to 15 years. But hey, it's my opinion, you can have yours. Despite the fact they will be your eternal enemies, because even though it's their personal opinion, it's wrong because it isn't yours. I appreciate how you just specifically point out all my flaws. Anytime. 
What's going on? Uh, yeah, we sort of got a severe problem. 